How do you find the area of a rectangle with fractional sides? In this lesson, you'll learn how to find the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths using tiling. First, let's review some vocabulary. When we talk about area, we're talking about the total space inside of a shape measured in square units. So what square units means is that if I were to measure area in terms of feet, then the area would be in square feet. If the units was inches, then the area would be square inches. Let's look at this problem. Sonia wants to cover the rectangular floor of her closet with tile. The floor is two and a half feet by three and a half feet. She wants to use the fewest tiles possible and doesn't want to cut any tiles. The tiles come in three sizes, one foot by one foot, half foot by half foot, and quarter foot by quarter foot. Choose the tile that Sonia should use. What is the area of the closet floor? So as I'm thinking about this, I know that I can measure the rectangular floor in both feet, half feet, and quarter feet. But the tel it tells us that Sonia wants to use the fewest tiles possible, and she doesn't want to cut any tiles, which means the tiles have to be perfect, because so you can't overlap them. Already I see that it's two and a half feet and three and a half feet, so I can't use a tile that's going to be in one foot because the fraction that's left would have to be cut. The quarter feet can work since there are two quarters in one half. But I want to use the fewest tiles possible and using quarter tiles would be too much, so we're not going to use quarter tiles we'll end up using half foot tiles. So essentially what we're trying to do is draw a draw Sonia's rectangular floor in this grid here and find the total area using half foot tiles. Okay, so let's do that. We're using half foot square tiles to cover Sonia's rectangular floor. For each grid, let's have one square represent the dimensions of the tiles we chose. So each square here is going to have a length of one half and a width of one half. So let's draw a diagram of the floor. Let's start right here. And let's make a, tile, a rectangle with a length of three and a half feet. Starting here, one tile is a half foot, two is one foot, three is one and a half feet, four gives us two feet, two and a half, three, and three and a half. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven half foot tiles. That's going to make three and a half feet. Then let's make two and a half feet in terms of the other length. So we'll go one half foot here, two tiles makes it one foot, three tiles makes a foot and a half, four for two feet, and five for two and a half feet. And then we'll just close off the rectangle here. All right, so we have made Sonia's rectangular floor using one half foot square tiles. All right, so now that we've made Sonia's rectangular floor of her closet, let's figure out how many squares are in the diagram. One way we can do that, like we know with area before, is to take the length 
times the width. That's going to give us our total area. So we'll count how many tiles are on the long side and how many tiles are on the shorter side. So, so I see on the long side there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven tiles. And on the shorter side we have one, two, three, four, five. Five tiles. So that would be seven tiles times five tiles. It's going to give us 35. So we have 35 tiles total. And the area we know of each of these tiles is going to have dimensions of one half by one half. One half length and one half width. Alright, so I know that the inside of my circle, or inside of my square, there are 35 total tiles. And to find the area of one tile, that would be the length of the tile, which is one half, times the width of that tile. We'll multiply that across, A times B over C times D. So the area of one of our tiles is one-fourth square feet. So to find the area of all 35 tiles, that would be 35 35 tiles total times one and a quarter. That gives us 35 over four square feet. So the last thing we want to do is convert this into a mixed number. So let's clear my screen a little bit. We have 35 fourth square feet changes into from an improper fraction into a proper fraction or a mixed number to be 35 4 4 goes into 35 eight times so 4 times 8 is going to be 32 the remainder of 3 so our mixed number is 8 and 3 quarters square feet. So the area of her closet floor, of Sonia's closet floor, is going to be 8 and 3 quarters square feet. All right, now it's your turn. Let's look at this problem. Terence is designing a patio. He uses one half square foot stone tiles to design. If his patio is four and a half feet wide and six feet long, what is the total area of his patio? At this point in time, feel free to pause the video and solve this for yourself. Start it again when you're ready to check your answer. All right, let's solve this. We know that he's going to use one half square foot stone tiles to design his patio. And his patio is four and a half feet wide and six feet long. So let's imagine that each of these tiles is one half foot by one half foot. So let's solve. First thing we want to do is to make sure that his width is four and a half feet wide. So we'll do one half. That's one foot, right, two squares at one and a half feet long each is going to be one foot. Four squares is two foot. Three squares is six feet. Four squares is going to be 
four feet, and then one more for four and a half. And six feet long, there's one, two, three, four, five, and I'm a little short, so I'll just drag this down. And six. And one, two, three, four, and a half. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve feet or twelve squares on the side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine feet on the bottom. So 12 times 9 is going to give us 108 total tiles. And if the length of each tile is 1 foot by 1 foot, or 1 half foot by 1 half foot, it's going to have an area of 1 quarter square feet. So to find the total area, that would be 108 total tiles times 1 over 4. And that gives us 108 over 4. To convert this to a mixed number, we'll have 108 divided by 4. 4 is going to go into 10 twice. 4 times 2 is 8. Regroup here, left with 2, bring down the 8, 4 goes into 28, 7 times, 2, 8, we're left with the remainder of 0, which means that 108 or fourth is going to be 27 square feet. Remember that now we are talking about area, so it's important for you to include your units. So the total area of Terence's patio is going to be 27 square feet. Today you have learned how to find area of a rectangle with fractional sides using tiling.